Located near the intersection of Kennedy Drive and Dorset Road, the South Burlington High School can be found. In the past few years, the school has had around 800 to 1,000 students coming from all around the state of Vermont. 20% of students come from outside of the Burlington or South Burlington area to attend. The school contains a multitude that ranges from black to white, Hispanic to Chinese, Christian to Jewish, all coming together in a mashup of different cultures and backgrounds. One could even think of it as a miniature New York. Not only is it diverse, the school is one of the best places to get a high school education, even when it was a small school. South Burlington has many great teachers who uphold a strong standard of higher education. In 2008, the school tested best in the country for reading proficiency in the New England Common Assessment Program test, as well as placing second best for the mathematical portion of the same test. The average GPA for the class of 2011 was 3.069, which is in the 70th percentile for school GPAs in the country. And I think the same excellence is here that was in place way back when, back in 63 to 67. The academic rigor was very impressive to me. <laughs> Probably it was more rigor than I was able to deal with. When it was first created, the school's students were known as the Rebels based on its location to the south of Burlington. However, because of its negative connotation of Confederate soldiers, its mascots were removed, but the Rebels remained in name. The school was established in 1957 and recently celebrated its 50th anniversary. One of the faculty members at the school, by the name of Mr. Mirabella, has been working there for a very long time. In fact, he's been there since the school opened, so we decided to ask him a couple of questions. Hey, Mr. Mirabella, you were at another school first, correct? What made you go to SBHS, and what was different about it? Well, let's see. I'm going back to 1968, and at that time I was an assistant principal at Burlington High School, and they built a new middle school in South Burlington, and Fred Tuttle, who was a good friend of mine, and the other assistant principal at Burlington High got the principalship and asked me to move out to South Burlington with him as assistant principal, and I jumped at the opportunity. How is it different? Different from what? Uh, BHS. I don't think there was much different. I've been lucky in my career that every school I've worked in, kids are pretty positive, teachers are positive. That's not to say that we didn't have problems with individual kids or individual teachers for that matter. But, uh, you know, it was a good move at the time and I didn't see many changes in the kids at all. Um, what was your first impression at South Burlington High School? My first impression, uh, that is, I always knew it was a good school and when I left Oh, about 20 years ago, I think. I can't believe it's been that long. But I left the middle school. The school board was kind enough to give us a buyout, and I took it. But I got bored in one summer, and I said, I've got to go back to this business of education. So I got the planning room job at the high school. And I knew I was moving into a great situation because I knew most of the teachers. And, of course, I had the kids at the middle school who were in the high school so again, it was a continuation of all the fun I was having in, in a lot of respects. That's good. Um, what do you love most about South Burlington? What do I love most about South Burlington? Well, I really enjoy coming to the high school every day. Uh, I'm especially uh, uh, fond of this senior class. I think this senior class is an exceptional class from the viewpoint of the attitude of the kids. I think the leadership is there in academics. The leadership is there in sports. And you know, when I talk to them about attendance or a class, they're very positive uh, individuals and they're a lot of fun to be around. And at my age, that's the most important thing in life, 
is to have fun. Thank you. Okay. Um, is that the reason you stay here? Is because that's why you love it? It's, it's basically the, I'm a very fortunate individual. At my age, I just have a unique situation. You know, I get here with Mr. Sankowski at six in the morning and we do what we have to do to get ready for the day. But I look forward to seeing the kids come in every day and, you know, I know I make a lot of noise and funny remarks and whatnot, but to me it's a good time, you know. Um, at South Burlington High School, who has influenced you the most or preferably at the middle school? Well, it's interesting. I, there are a lot of people, uh, um, and unfortunately, uh, some of you people haven't had the pleasure of knowing like Fred Tuttle or Rick Marcotte, uh, and uh, uh, Linda McMasters was a teacher here at the high school who passed away. Uh, uh, Sue Whitmore was a great language arts teacher at the middle school. But uh, those people influenced me. Uh, I learned a lot from them. But most of all, what I've learned about education and functioning in education, I've learned from the kids. Okay. Um, what has been your most memorable moment at South Burlington High School? Oh, God, there have been so many. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> well, you know, serious or funny, I don't know. Most memorable moment. To me, I, I guess it's graduation, you know. No, let me put it this way. It's seeing freshmen come in in September and then watching their progressive uh, progression for four years through high school and then seeing them at graduation. And I've got a pretty good memory. And it's a lot of fun to remember them as freshmen and then graduation to see them, you know, all dressed up and excited about the future and whatnot. I guess, to me, that's a, a memorable uh, experience. What, <clears throat> what has changed at SB since you came, structurally or like the mindset? I think the greatest change is in technology. Uh, you know, I was covering a study hall yesterday and, you know, uh, every freshman that was in that study hall, and they were mostly freshmen, had computers and they were doing their work on their computers. The technology is just fantastic. It's, it's, uh, and I was thinking about that today that, you know, I won't be around 20 years from now, but 20 years from now, this high school is gonna be completely different. You know, I know it's gonna be different. It's gonna be uh, more uh, technological in the approach to learning, uh, and the teachers are gonna be important, but they're gonna play a different role would you say uh, technology is the biggest change at SB over the years? I think it's the biggest change. When I look back, you know, you know, when I was in high school, we used scratch pens. You know, we had the inkwells in front of the desk, and you'd dip your pen in the inkwell, and you'd scratch your name and come a long way. So how does the future of Sacramento look for you? Oh, I think it looks rosy. I like coming back every year. I hope I can do it maybe. I don't know, my oldest sister, what, she's 95 years old, and so maybe I can make it. My mother was 101 when she passed away. I'd like to stick around for about 10 more years, you know, depending on my health. You look pretty healthy. Um, how do you not come to SB? How do you think you would have been a different person today? What was the question if again? You, if you did not come to SB, how would you be a different person today? That's an interesting question. I don't know. I, um, I don't think I'd be as happier as I am today. I'm really a pretty happy person. It scares me sometimes that I'm, you know, at my age, I, I look forward to every day. Uh, what distresses me the most is my days are going by too quickly, you know. It isn't like it's a slow pace, you know. I get here, next thing I know, you know, I've done my attendance, it's, it's lunchtime, I'm in the cafeteria, you know, and then the day ends. It's going by too quickly. And I can't think of any place where I would have been happier. I guess as long as I was doing something involving kids, young people, I'd have been happy. That's good. Thank you for your time.
My pleasure. South Burlington has also exceptional extracurricular activities as well. The school has had 31 different club sports as well as 18 team sports in the Northern Vermont Athletic Conference. Football, soccer, baseball, track and field, snowboarding, Nordic skiing, and even ultimate frisbee are accounted among these. The youngsters through the years, the, the kids that played for me uh, were just so good. I mean, they gave me their trust and I gave them every bit of energy and strength and any bit of learning that I had acquired and, and, uh, and we just had a wonderful relationship through the years. And, uh, the school's plays are also well known and there are many outlets for said plays, such as the Lyric Theater, which is a Broadway style theater group that creates two full-blown Broadway musicals a year. South Burlington High School is an exceptionally good school for people to go to. It has been creating bright young minds ever since it was first created.